Although it was kind of comedy how, how poorly I split those, right? That's pretty tragic. Random rare. Very good mixed with very bad. Although normal need three energy? Eh, who cares? Let's get that shop, right? Let's get that sh let's get this out of our deck. This is a nice path. These are nice things. Campfires, four of them, two elites. But no exact shop, no exact removal. But the question marks could be removal. Over here we have guaranteed removal with the shop or more question marks for removal. And then we get campfire, elite, campfire, elite, shop, campfire. Three campfires and elite shop. Shop and then three campfires, two elites. This is probably, left hand is probably the best. Yeah, normally it's not that bad at the start. This is not bad. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this one is four campfires. One, two, three, four campfires, two elites. That's the best. Let's do it. I normally stream around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern start. So today I started at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yesterday was around 1-ish. True Grit. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. I was kind of growing fond of normality, but to hell with that. Upgrade here. Yes. Bash plus. Very good. I see that. I think yes. I see this turn. I think no. So we just kill the small one and take the eight, yeah? Because the alternative is taking two damage, but we might remove Bash. Really bunch of Thunder Strike? Yeah, it's a shame, right? Thund strike to me, Thunder Strike would have been sick. What happened last round? How did it go so wrong? Oh yeah, we split the slime boss like the complete most inoptimal times. You lagging? Try to turn down the quality. There's a little button, a little cog on the bottom right. Try to turn down the quality, see if that helps you out. Uh, you're asking how to speed up animations? Yeah, so what what this is right here is fast mode, but what you may also be noticing is frame rate. So when you have more frame rate, it looks a little bit faster. But yeah, there we go. Anger? Anger versus Clothesline. I mean, maybe Anger's better, but I really like the weekend with Clothesline. Especially against the Guardian. But Anger is probably a better tool for the Elite. Someone got 2.4 kids on today's without cheating. Like, normally the dailies are just like some. Because some of the scores are not accurate. What's up, Drillis? I'm doing good. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, we got Whirlwind for AoE. A lot of you guys don't like Whirlwind for AoE, but I think it's okay. It's got potential. A lot of you guys are non-believers, huh? Like, on today's in general high? Hmm. Wake him up. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, big boy. Got a captain's wheel to greet. Just smack him for all he can. Not a bad elite. Took some damage. Uh, we have... Not lethal. 
Wait. Whirlwind is just lethal, yeah? So we just defend for Whirlwind and call it a day? Oh yeah, 8 plus 6 is 14. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, okay. Immolate. So now this is why you don't like Whirlwind Plus. Because you have Immolate offered on floor 7. And that is the better looking cousin. Big shame, huh? I mean, this called not really unknowing you're going to get emulates, so Whirlwind is fine. Do we take both? Por que no los dos? Dije un niña. Max HP. Juzu. I'm a fan of Juzu. Is Juzu a fan of me? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, we have some tools for you, my friend. Take this and wait till you see the next turn. Wait, should I have done Whirlwind for four and then emulate kills? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh, well, luckily we didn't get emulate. It didn't matter. We're getting emulate on the turn we have full block. It's fantastic. Gorgeous. Mango. Ooh, this is shaking up, shaping up to be a max HP run. Quite nice. So, headbutt, I can play my emulate more often and true get things more often. Upgrade versus shop. We have 202 gold. I'm a, I'm a fan of upgrades. I do really like upgrades. I guess in this case, I would upgrade emulate. But maybe what about weaken so we can weaken this guy forever and not have to worry about damage as much. I mean, going forward, when you have two, two, two costs, and if I don't get energy relic, actually might feel awkward, but don't worry about that till now. I think Emily's is the better upgrade, though. But weaken is more important against the Guardian. Going into Act 2, having close them plus. If you have an energy relic, I mean, that weaken is pretty useful. But the more I talk about it, the more I'm thinking I don't want the upgrade, I want to just go to the shop. <laughs> Well, up here, though. Okay. Oh, shit. Turn up range with the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using Twitch Prime on me, buddy. Welcome to the germ pool. Now you can collect germs twice as fast and make me choose a card with 5,000 points to make me lose the run twice as fast as well. Devil Eyes, you try changing the quality to less. Less. Um, what's that word? When, what's the word? Resolution? There we go. Wins. Wins. Two triggers? Absolutely. Juzu? Absolutely. First turn whirlwind? Absolutely. Afternoon, good job, Dino. How you doing? Guys, let's talk about stuff. Well, let me see something. Honestly, it might be better just to do defend, defend, whirlwind, and wait for emulate. Okay. 
I don't need to take nine to the face, right? If you're going to be ultra optimal, emulate just wins anyways, right? So hear me out. This is ultra optimal. It's disgustingly optimal. Unless we don't draw emulate next turn, which will feel shitty. But that's not going to happen. Because we're ultra optimal. Bam. Shrug it off, indeed. True, great, great upgrade. Feeling good. Feeling pretty good about this one. Do we do we trust the process or should we explode pot? Do we trust, trust, trust? I trust. Let's bring back the true grit and get rid of some of these strikes so that consistent defense is mighty. Although in this situation, uh, true gets a little awkward, but I suppose I can get rid of one defense because so that defense is a bad defense. And that means we leave a lot of strikes in the deck. So we sacrifice damage, that's fine. I'll sacrifice damage for better future turns. Seems fair, right? Like even right now, I suppose I want to weaken. We do have a weak pot, I could use that. Because I have no trigger target, unfortunately. Ah, uh, now I do. So I'll do this, just to get rid of the burn. Then we don't have weakened, though. I don't need weakened, though. Let's keep him vulnerable. Hmm. I don't fully trust the process here. I do not fully trust. I did get rid of all strikes. Okay, I trust the process. I lied. <laughs> I trust the process yet again. I'm going to emulate this guy to the face. And we're gonna get rid of the strike, and we're gonna feel very good about that. The deck's gonna be smaller, we're gonna get burns quicker, but getting damage in. We're taking lots of damage. There's a lot of damage being done towards my face, in my face direction. Daddy love the Twitch Prime, thank you. The Twitch Prime, you're welcome, welcome. Welcome, man. When did these changes come out? Uh, this is the beta branch, so it's out in the beta branch right now as we speak. Three powers, frozen egg, make a choice. The symmetry is kind of nice. It's got a zero in the middle and then two two costs on the left, and they both kind of have on the left and right. They both have like block. It's kind of a nice uh, card choice selection. Enough about that. Let's think. I think Barricade is pretty good. Granted, we get an Energy Relic. I mean, sure, Dragonite gives us more damage. Barricade gives us a Wing Con. And we have some decent block as it is. <laughs> Sorry, gassy, gassy. So why would I get an Energy Relic, right? Why would I need it most when an Energy Relic pop up? It wouldn't. That's the secret. What you need most never shows up. So, we're left with a couple of options. Pandora's box, frozen egg, sounds awful. Calling bell, get the relics, we have true grits to manage the curse, no problem. And maybe we get like happy flowers, some kind of alternative energy, like mom had hands. Ready? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Max HP is incredible at the moment. We have 101 and we don't even have feet. Now, Ashtar's interesting because you can get rid of the strikes, right? And getting rid of strikes is quite good because you want to play into your barricade quicker with your three energy. But for right now, I'm happy with this. And the White Beast statue will be a fourth energy. Treat this as your fourth energy. A little unintuitive, but... It will manage. You can sure get the Bell Curse. Yes, you can. 
You can exhaust it. Do I want to do Sparkle now so I'm not forced to do it in Act 3? And it's not a bad path. Or I go over here and get two elites like oh, this. Shit. I'm going to do Sparkle now, guys. I don't want to be forced to do it in Act 3. I already don't like how this is going, by the way. Barricade is probably not even the play. I probably just get rid of Barricade and do Headbutt Strike, right? Because there's no way we're going to have enough block for Barricade to be relevant. Yeah, thanks for Twitch Prime. Good job, Dive. No. Yeah, Twitch Prime are insane today, guys. I don't know who called you and said, send your Twitch Primes over to Jeremiah. But whoever it was, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Insane amount of Twitch Primes today. Speaking of Twitch Prime, uh, if you check the top right, you may have Twitch Prime available. And you can use it on your favorite streamer. All for free, of course. Daily plug is done. This guy told my money, bro. Skip Dash for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Skip Dash. There we are. Twitch Prime. Guys, Twitch Primes are out of control today. Thank you. I have a sub goal. I want to hit 10 subs today. And we I think we already hit 5 or 6. So, you know, 4 more subs would be perfect for the goal, guys. Perfect. Think about it. Energy pot. See? Look, there we go. Energy. I'm going to skip here. Oh, Havoc, though. We can do Havoc plus and play things with Headbutt being a thing. So we can Headbutt expensive things oh, and then Havoc it. Twitch Prime from Zorak. Thank you so much. Jesus, this is actually a blessed Prime day. Thank you. Oh, this fight's going to suck. Oh shit, Danny Live with the gifted five tier one subs. Welcome everybody. Thank you, Danny. Super generous. Holy shit. Oh shit. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Mongoose with the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Three months. Oh, welcome back. Shit. This is a crazy Twitch Prime day. Unbelievable. Oh shit. Guys, Christmas was like a couple days ago. What's going on? Like New Year's gifts? Is that what's going on? Oh. New Year's. Okay, so we have Barricade I could play and oh, maybe get some value, but this guy's about to wait. Oh, we have Captain's Wheel. Thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Thank you. Look, Barricade's doing something, guys. Barricade is doing something. God, we destroyed that fight. Thanks to the energy from White Beast. What's up, Shadow Gazer? How you doing? Oh, shit. So you have True Grit number three. It's not upgraded or Iron Wave. I'm looking at a pass. Wait, that's, that Fort Bush looks sort of like a germ. Like a Jeremy Jeremiah germ. More max HP at the cost of 35 HP. Lord have mercy. Am I going to regret that? Most likely. So this is a good time to weak pot. Since we have weak pot, we get rid of this true grit and get a big surplus of block and try to do our damnedest to kill him with this so this is 31 for three this is 36 for three and i don't get a burn i think i know which one i like better it's 36 for three and we are so close to lethal can you believe it lethal just out of reach Tune in again next time. I'll tell you what, though. We took no damage in this fight. And we got a blood plot. Oh, we're getting energy options. Berserk. Odd mushroom. And we need energy. 
I mean, that's a disarm, but it's also energy on mushroom. Yes? Thematic? My theme sense is tingling. Ah. Boom. <clears throat> Plain barricade instead of clothesline. Uh, I don't know about that one. I guess you have Captain's Wheel, so Barricade feels better. I do want to do Berserk, so I'm going to do this. Alright, I know you think I'm blocking like crazy, but it's for a purpose. And now we pop off. Oh man, they're both attacking. I should have done more damage so she feels inclined to heal. That was a misplay. Also, she should be doing damage in general, probably. I could shoot you. I can. Dude, you want. Give me the bell. I'm gonna trigger it for you. Give me the bell so I can trigger it for you. I have a lot of burns. Uh oh. My camera keeps blinking. You ready? I'm gonna sacrifice damage for this, okay? You ready? Oh my lord. Avar plus for the burns that I'm putting in my deck and for all the other fights that give me statuses like chosen. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> yes. The answer is yes. Alright, let's not die here, right? Can we just agree on not dying here? Barricade's no longer useful at this juncture of time. I need Berserk to be played. If your internet can't handle it. potion here sorry but I w the thing is I want to do um berserk for your energy but is it worth it I think more energy makes the fight much easier overall so yes ah but I didn't play Emily I mean I didn't play Barricade, and that was a throw. That's 23 block I just lost. Damn, I didn't think ahead in time. I wasn't thinking with portals. I wasn't thinking with portals here. So I can brace. Ah, uh, it's okay. So we have Blood Pot still, and we have Dark Embrace, Pommel Strike for more card draw. Now Pommel Strike is interesting once I have the Berserk played, but we have way too many strikes. Absolutely not. More powers like Dark Embrace. I mean, I'm a big fan of Dark Embrace, and we have things like tr Double Trigger it, so yes. But I don't like how many powers I have to set up. So that's the only thing, but I'm going to do it. Now here's the thing. Do we rest and then do two elites? Or do we trust that the shop has some? I mean, the rest is good value. Yeah, we we'll probably just rest, huh? Oh, Sugarina. So, normally there's a bot on Reddit that does this. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'll be the bot. Uh, I see you used a... So, take this. There's a bot on Reddit. I want to make a bot in my, my chat to do, actually do that for me. Where basically I... um Make frowns go upside down. So, guys. I have to show you something. And you get... I need your opinion, okay? I have Berserk, there's Pellets, and then there's Panic Button with Barricade. And with Barricade and Pellets, with Panic Button, I can get rid of the debuff from Panic Button. So tell me this is not insane with Pellets, Barricade, Berserk. Like, yes. I think everybody should just agree. One, two, 
three. Is that not just fantastic? In fact, I could bet go. For the whirlwind, first turn. Ready? Whirlwind, first turn. I could bet go. I believe. But, so we want to play Berserk, but we don't have a skill. Oh, if we had a skill, we can get rid of the debuff. Unfortunately, we don't have a skill. I think I had to play Berserk for this fight. I do. I, I, I can always headbutt it back. Okay, so I can do Berserk now. Take the hit and just fire a Blood Pot for this fight. Or save Blood Pot, right? I mean, I have Blood Pot for a reason. So I, I think I'll just Berserk Strike. Strike now. So I'll just take the hit. I know, like I said, I could always head with the Berserk back and get rid of the Vulnerable with Pellets at any point. It's just, this is the, that one time I can't do it. I, I'll just use it now. And we'll, well, I... I'm taking so much damage though, is it really worth it? Bloodpot does get better with time. I get more max HP. But technically, currently right now, I'm not getting more max HP. I don't have a, a way to get max HP. It's okay, I'll use Bloodpot. Evolve is quite good here. Where's my Berserk when I need it? Oh, okay, where's my Barricade when I need it? Barricade, there's got all this block you're missing out on, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing, Berserk? How can you fuck up this much? I mean, Barricade, not Berserk. Barricade. Okay, let's check this out though. Barricade, Panic Button, Strike. And I have all that block for free. Look at this. Ooh, and then we True Grit this curse. Gorgeous. And then we try to find Immolate here. Or we have another chance to find Immolate. Alright, another chance. You ready? Ah, I believed. I had high faith. Now we're gonna get debuffed. Oh, the debuff's gonna suck. Oh, but I can get rid of the debuff. I don't have any more powers though. So we can just go ahead and do this anyways, right? I take one damage. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, so... Did they change it? You can't use Blood Pot if, if you were to... In a position to discard blood pot, you can't use it anymore, right? Wait, tell me why I don't have lethal here. Guys, please bless the RNG to get me lethal right now, okay? We have three outs. Okay, so we do this. Not even close, dude. Not even close. Anchor, Duplication Potion, Funeral Pain, Funeral Pain Plus. I think we're doing good exhaust with True Grit and Barricade. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. We have a lot of setup, though. We have a lot of setup. Okay. Uh, with Pellets, Panic Button Plus is a pretty good upgrade. That's just 40 block once, once Barricade is out. Emulate is a really good upgrade as well. I'm not taking advantage of it fully. So we can be fighting slavers. So Emulate Plus might be... 
play because with duplication pot Im emulate twice against slavers. Here are the slavers, and where's my emulate that I just talked about? Check this out. Free. Free energy, technically. Ish. I can also do speed pot, guys. And keep the speed pot. I don't want to do headbutt because I want to draw into emulate shooter, so I don't want to do headbutt here. Oh, that is more damage. Dude, they have three strength. Like, god damn. Wait, tell me why he's doing the entangled on turn two again. Who is this dude? This is the second time he's done it on turn two. What an asshole. Watch, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get emulate. I just watch. This guy is an asshole. <laughs> he done this to me twice. Where I have lethal, but he can take on me turn two. It's probability. Anyways, we're gonna draw a barricade. Because the game is being such a dick right now, we're gonna draw a barricade, right? Okay, there's a world where I panic button now and draw into barricade. I don't feel... No, it's fine. So we have to, the world went twice. I guess that's a play. World went twice is lethal. That's fine. So we're looking at 64 damage. Yes, please. What's the alternative? None. Okay, so more block in the form of ghostly armor. Are we going way too block heavy? Do, does our damage suffice? We don't have any damage scaling. That's a problem. I mean, I guess if you... I don't even have entrenches, so I'm not really scaling my block either. So I can't even look for, like, body slam. So we have no strength scaling. We don't have entrenched for defense scaling, which could end up being offense. We just have generally good block, good powers, decent AoE, but no scaling. So that's something we want to fix, yeah? So we can take Flame Barrier, which is a pretty good block, or we can remove a strike and make the deck more consistent. And I'm because I have so much setup as it is, I really want to remove strikes so I can just get to these cards quicker. And I, maybe I find like Deep Informer or Spot Weakness or something. Full block. Keep Akabeko active. Get flex with pellets. That is always an option. This is true. Flex with pellets. Uh, this sucks. It's a lot of damage. I want to see if I can draw into barricade. But wait, guys. If I do berserk. Emulate. Check this out. If I emulate now. Right? And then Berserk. Gorgeous. 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 Removed it all. I guess evolve is better. Let's get it out. I guess headbutt for true grit. Nah, no, we're good. Slow play it now. Okay. 
Okay. Flex of orange pellets. That's something that's going to be very interesting. I don't know if it's good or not, but... You can't get blocked here, but we have shit ton of block. I don't really care. I'm going full damage. YOLO. Okay, so... Uppercuts is more artifact removal, more that yeah, this doesn't fit our deck. Pummel gives us damage, but we don't have strength for it. Doesn't really fit the deck. Yeah, sure, there's exhaust things, so but that doesn't really seem good. And yeah, we skip here. Do we feel like we need to rest? Maybe sometime in January for the New Year TLA. How you doing, buddy? We have the orange pellets to remove all his debuff phase, and then we have decent AoE, and we have decent block. So if I don't rest, what am I upgrading? Panic button? For a one-time use? I mean, rest seems to be the best, just because if I don't get the powers really, and I'm he attacks for like 2177, that's a shit ton of damage. I should upgrade Curse of the Bell so I can true grid it. This is the this is the true play. Yeah, if I don't get barricade early, and he attacks for twenty one seven seven with his two little minions, and I don't have a way to manage the minions, if I just get a bad draw, then I'm probably just out of the fight. So I guess rest is the most insurance, even though this deck is pretty good. Oh, that's cool. So we get to do this. Look. Pretty cool right so now we're kind of wondering why the hell did we rest but i mean like i guess that's what we kind of ex got we're just hedging our weaknesses you never know you never know what's gonna happen in the spire i would like to kill these things they're taking away 12 block each but i also want to play my powers so i think i feel better taking away my powers first Emily will take care of them. I do need to get Berserk out because I have so many things I need to play. But if I leave Evolve up, I can get rid of the debuffs. So here's the Big Brain play. Now Berserk, right now, gets rid of debuffs. Ready? Thank you. And the fight's won. And we didn't take a lick of damage. Damn. Feels bad, man. He was bad, man. What's up, Caesar? Is he resummoning? There's potential. Let's not talk about the order. They don't mention the order. Another Twitch Prime from Neil Bonzi. Jesus. Twitch Prime Mahalix today. Thank you, man. Whatever we do, we never talk about the order there. Better safe than sorry. I agree. Until I don't. No, I agree. Is it time to get rid of ghostly armor? No, we're good. This guy doesn't want to summon ever again. He's like, screw summoning. I can handle this myself. All right, sir. Let's see what you got. You seem to be losing. All right, you bested me this turn. Bested me this turn. Never again. I refuse to let it happen again. Looking at 48 damage. I was a man who rested. 
I mean, again, we didn't know that was going to be the draw, so I felt okay with the rest. Ice cream on the last box before the heart. So we got Exhume Brutality Barricade. Now, Exhume is good because it brings back the panic button. Exhume is also good because then when I exhaust Curse with the Bell with True Grit, I can bring it back and then show you guys that I could True Grit it again just to really drive the point home. So I like Exhume Panic Button. Double Barricade so I can guaranteed find Barricade in the first two turns. We gotta make sure we get that Barricade out. Otherwise, our deck unravels. I mean, think about it. Barricade is super important for Captain's Wheel in turn three and Panic Button's in the deck, so... We're not taking second barricade. Exhume is the best. You can no longer smith. We have frozen egg. And we get four energy. You no longer discard your hands. Now, if, if we end up getting in trenches, Runic Pyramid pops off. Also, Runic Pyramid is pretty good for holding onto panic button and exhume stuff. Okay, and what else do I want? I don't really need a lot of upgrades. Like, I'm not really playing to upgrade any more cards, honestly. So we're taking Fusion Hammer. With Berserk, we have five energy, which is not bad. I like this. We have Berserk, but I don't want to depend on Berserk solely. So what's the path here? Peed, peed is square. Thank you for the follow. So, I want to do elites because campfires are less desirable. Can't upgrade. I guess I can use it as a rest if I feel like I need to. But for the most part, I want to avoid campfires. Go for elites. Looks good. Looks like Princess Leia. Um, let's take a look. One sec. <clears throat> Going good, Scotty. We have Juicy, right? So we have Juicy bracelet. So these all events are not combat. Mm, so we could do we could do Juzu and we have Omomori. What do you guys think about that? Omomori. Juzu. Two elites. Maybe hit a shop. Sounds good. Barricade first turn. I'll take it. I want to protect my life total, but I'm, since I'm hitting campfire and I'm forced to rest, I guess I can recall. I want to save the Akabeko as well. That's the thing. I'm trying to save the Akabeko here for potential Immolate Whirlwind shenanigans. Well, there's the Immolate. And we do a panic button, so. This is actually perfect. One, two, three, four. That never gets old. Pellet buttons never gets old. Keep in mind, we do get potions, so I could just pop the potion now, end the fight, and see what I get. Oh, we can hold on to it. Let's see what we get anyways. And make a decision off that. Power pot I like better than explosive, right? AOE right, is more than good enough. Tree number three. We have Dark Embrace Final Pain. And we have Barricade. It's a third true grit. It seems like a little excessive. I'm not gonna lie. Uppercut plus, if we end up playing Berserk, we have 5 energy. That's a good way to strip artifacts and apply more weakened and vulnerable. So since we have 5 energy with Berserk out, I guess Uppercut is pretty decent for what it does. Who's the boss here? Time Eater. Too much exhaustion trigger, right? I think, yeah, I like this. I think it hit here. Yikes, if we had a skill... I don't know why my camera keeps blinking, I don't understand. That's... 
a novel thing for it. If I had a scope here, I could prevent the vulnerable. I don't really want to take damage. So we won't put Berserk. I don't want to take extra damage. That kind of just kind of sucks. Berserk now. Now we're berserking. Should we just exhume for the frick of it? Should we exhume for the frick of it? Hell yeah. Oh, the camera's frozen. Oh, camera's frozen, huh? Smoke bomb. At least try to fix this. Camera's being very weird lately. You know what I think it is? I think somebody updated my sparkle cam without me knowing. So now the updated sparkle cam is not cooperative. I have to downgrade it. Give it a second. Tentacle difficulties. I got you, give me a sec. I know what's going on. I'm on the wrong account. No, I gotta sign out of L's account. Uh, that's awkward. Does the stream end if I switch sides of my computer? Does the stream end? I doubt it, right? Everything's still going on the background. For sure, I think it's because the updated is Spyco. It's causing this. Should be back. Should be back. Should be back. Thank goodness. Sparkle game is not quite okay. We're, we're gonna take what we can. I'm gonna skip here. Smoke bomb, yes or no? Do you feel like we need it? Absolutely not. Remember what I said about smoke bomb? This is good value, I'll take that. I like this relic. Duplicate a card in your deck. Now we're cooking with gas. I mean, amidst all this craziness, this is actually quite good. So, I really wish I had Entrench. Entrench would really seal this deck, I feel. So if we take another Berserk, that means we can get up to six energy and play up to six energy worth of cards. Eh, I don't know about that. Was what if we do Panic Button? Because when we play Panic Button, that's just this is zero cost impervious. Imagine this is impervious and it's zero cost. Would you not want to duplicate that? If you do Funeral Pain, we get more powers for the Awakened One, which is going to suck. But for Donu and Jekka, it's pretty good. And I guess it makes our block even crazier with True Grits. Like I said, if this was impervious and at zero cost, you would instant dupe it. There's a world where Berserk... Eh, I don't think so. I think we do Panic Button here. Oh, so that's why we get double panic buttons, so we can lose one of them. 
I refuse. I refuse to do this. I must hold on to my panic button. Keep your anxiety close and your friends closer. Well... Do we want to get rid of Uppercut Plus? I mean, what is better here? Panic button is great block. With very little downside is granted I get pellets with it. We have bash and clothesline. Uppercut feels worse. The only thing about uppercut that is nice is that it strips two artifacts. I think the panic button is better for the overall win condition of the deck, which I think should be. So I guess we take the free heal because we have more Mori. Cam froze again? I, I think I know what's going on with the cam, but uh, give me a sec. You guys want to do combust for this fight? Or do you like... Uh, brutality maybe instead? So basically, I gotta downgrade the Sparkle Kim. And I think I gotta close the app in order. I gotta close stream because it's being used. So we're just gonna have to deal with it for now. Yeah, but we're, not, we're gonna have so much block with Barricade that we're never really gonna get hit by burns. So I think Brutality makes more sense so we can get more card draw, find our emulates, our whirlwinds quicker, find our powers sooner. The other thing is Combust, but I trust that my area will show itself. We're gonna have wounds, so we're gonna have to get Evolve played. And there's the Emulate. And there's the Evolve. And there's Dark Embrace. Okay, so everything we, we could ask for, we got. Pretty easily. Now, if I could avoid this damage, I would love to. Don't think I can. What's more important to me is that I find Barricade ASAP. So I'm always inclined not to headbutt anything. Now he's wound draw, yes, true. So now we don't have an attack. That's awkward. Panic button is just a thing. I might get an attack now. Huge, I got an attack, can't play it. <clears throat> so let's try to find the panic button now. Get that block going. Damn, we need a we need a power to play the panic button. I just realized, and eh, when we don't have powers, it's a little less good, huh? I won't keep closely. God damn this damn camera. So what if I do this? Except we, we do that, but we do the order better, right? Imagine I do that, but order is better. And then we're happy, right? <laughs> this is good, though. Actually, we're almost perfectly fine there. We actually destroyed this fight. I took some damage, but it's whatever. We can heal it. Still need some scaling. Blood Plot is huge. Juggernaut gives us some damage to go with all this block. Power through is more block. We have exhaust, we have evolve. I mean, all more block doesn't really mean much to me unless I get something like entrench or body slam to I know camera's off, I know. It's, it's messing up right now. I think, guys, I can fix it, but I think I gotta turn off stream for a second just to uninstall Sparko.
I'm just very amused. Like the thumbnail that I'm in right now, I'm just very amused at what's going on. It's another power for panic button, but is it worth playing? Does it slow us down? Is it too much setup for nothing? Another power for panic button pellets. It gives us more damage. I guess we're struggling with damage a little bit, right? Because if this deck wants to block a lot, I guess we can use it for damage. Because we have no damage scaling at the moment. And we don't have Entrench. Yeah, the Pixie next card was legit. And someone chose Doppelganger and we immediately lost. So it's very legit. And the chance to sabotage is very real. Do you have it in you to sabotage runs? Oh, fuck me, dude. Yeah, cameras is rippy. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, I have a solution. How loud is that noise, by the way? Are you guys just losing your ears whenever that noise goes off? Well, here's the thing, guys. Uh, power through. Yeah, sure, it gives you block. We have evolved, but still, like, without evolved, played. Power through is good block, sure. I think Juggernaut gives us more damage, which we're kind of struggling with. It is expensive. Give it a second, I'm fixing something right now. There's currently technical issues going on, so I'm fixing technical issues. We'll be back soon. I gotta try to fix this thing. I'm gonna try to log out of her account. Give me one second, okay? If I hope stream doesn't die. There we go. Holy shit on a stick. Okay, all is saved. Now you guys are okay. I'm about to say that would have been tragic. You guys picked the cards. Tragic. I have to lose pendant, which you know. What an adventure. We're back. Okay, so... Penip is pretty good for the damage, but we have to lose it, unfortunately. I mean... It is what it is. Alright. We can add... What are we looking for? More panic buttons, right? Yes. Thank you, Daniel, a lot for the gift of sub. Yeah, welcome to Crafty. More panic buttons. We would probably like Master of Strategy. Dark Shackles. A Blind... Because we lost uppercut, so blind is pretty good. Panache should give us some more damage, although the AoE aspect of it is not that great because I have good AoE. So dark Shackles. Dark Shasticles. We've got more Panic Buttons. Master Strategy. There's some good targets. Am I willing to lose 10 HP? Yeah. Let's skip. Purity. Okay. Absolutely tragic. At the start of your turn, add a random colorless card to your hand. Now, this is interesting. It's upgraded. It's a power for pellets. And then it gives me colorless cards, which could be panic buttons every turn. Blinds, Master Strategy, all the things I mentioned. Dark Shackles. So, Flash of Steel is another attack to help with pellets. So, I can probably take one. It's not that good against Time Eater, but it's a little pellet thing. So, that's probably pretty good. Do this. And I'll take a little flash of steel. Bam. I took 10 damage for that. That's kind of shitty. So what if I do an elite and not rest? Or do I just say, maybe I hit the shop. Well, I, I was going for the elite. That's not the event you want to see. I can rest anyways. Yeah, let's go for the elite. So this is pretty good damage. Not bad. Oh lord, okay, so... This is one of those awkward moments where... Whirlwinds... Okay. I think we just do this. I could fire punch sure, but I'm holding on to it.
No, that won't take my damage, not a big deal. I mean, should I just do Blood Pot now, drink it, and get another potion? Sure, why not, right? But I could save it for after the boss instead of resting, right? So imagine like... Yeah, let's just get the HP. You might as well. Double Fire Pot, perfect. More sure gets more ghostly? Nope. Although, I am running out of upgrade targets, so I guess another trigger would give me more exhaust, but then the deck has got three true grids. So many. Although, I added a lot of non-blocking cards. I added Magnetism Juggernaut. So there's potentially a turn where I just get only powers and no block. Can't upgrade. Right. We need that. Alright. This guy's a little scary. That's a little scary. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so we got Berserk, Barricade, Funeral Pain, Dark Embrace, Flash of Steel. Nice, okay. Wait, did I not remove? I didn't ever, I never played a skill. It didn't matter anyways. Put bombs, how do I damage? I'll be honest, I'm not really liking the profile of this fight. We don't have Entrench. The deck, this is where the deck is struggling. No Entrench. Just get up damage. That is a weekend though. But I want to get rid of this. Juggernaut and bomb is how we're doing damage. So if we had a power, panic button would be fantastic. So, so I, yeah, panic button is pretty bad now that we don't have powers. Damn. This is a card draw. Got bomb again. I guess I could just bomb and panic button. Oof, that's good damage. I could end with panic button and then we just have to have full attack next turn. That's really scary, now that I think about it. Unless we get a power from magnetism. Bomb is kind of not even that great, so if we, get, we don't get a power from magnetism. But we do have power in the deck. Huh, we have headbutt here. Penny button is actually really bad, so I gotta make the best out of it. I guess immolate to be the most damage. Double fire pot. And Magnetism is actually clogging my deck in a very bad way. I do not like that. God, this fight sucks. I could headbutt the finesse back. Bombs are was uh we have bomb right now. So if we look for damage, we have bomb, which is gonna do how much? 40? 
This is 67, that's 107, plus I have 140 damage. So one, one is all we need. Whew. Bottle of lightning. Okay. Could be worse. Still kind of sucks. We have a rest though. So offering, we have bottle of lightning. What do we want to bottle? What if we just bottle the offering? Rose Sunshine, how you doing? How are your holidays? So I guess we take offering and bottle it, huh? Seems good. Heal to full and lose 19 max HP. When we rest, we're resting for like 30 something, right? Like around 31, 32 rest. I, I, I don't, I'm not really doing the math right now, but. This run looks good, except for we're missing strength scaling or defense scaling like entrench. So it's uh, risky. Darkman base first to get one more card draw out of offering. Berserk right now. Get the energy going. Get the evolve out. This is a dexterity fight. How are we winning this fight in particular? Extra dusty, but I slept most of the day. Nice, nice, nice. We didn't oh, find. Geez. Yo, JJ West with the Twitch Prime. Yeah, we lack skilling. We won't have entrench or strength skilling. Thank you for Twitch Prime. Guys, this has been a Twitch Prime crazy day. Even if this run loses, Twitch Prime didn't lose today. So we don't get barricade on this. Really unlucky that we don't get barricade. Right, give me one second. Gonna take care of something. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is like we need barricade really bad. This is sucky. I guess I can pu push him over. Sure. A lot of waste of block. <sighs> toughy, toughy, toughy. Panic button now. So what this, oh, we really need to get Juggernaut out, huh? So what if I just do Exhume Offering to play Juggernaut? Thoughts? Or I guess we can play Panic Button again. We can get, technically, a shit ton of block. And then with a the shit ton of block, we can just burst him down with Bash. Bash, Immolate things, Juggernaut for extra damage. So we'll just do good damage, no scaling, but have a lot of block. But first, I want to play Magnetism. Now here's the sad part about this, because I want to play Panic Button as well, while I have powers. You want to get Panic Button out when you have powers. Well, technically we do have... The attack that we can play is the worst attack there is. That's the problem. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we do this, this, then we play the attack, and then we just do panic button, right? Huge. Because I wanted to trigger that turn, but I, I didn't need to trigger it there. So we get panache. Okay, 
I think what we just do is focus on doing bashing lead a lot. And I don't want to be pushing forward too much, but this is a good time to push forward. So we'll just do like... Well, I guess I should get rid of the strike here. So we can do bash emulate more often. So here's what I'll do. I'll do bash emulate. And we won't play panache right now. We'll do this. We have panacea. We also want to just find... So this is, this is this is the big big play, and I hope this comes to fruition. I want to shrug it off into a headbutt. I want to headbutt back panache. Panacea to bring the panache up, play the panache, get rid of the vulnerable and frail. So the headbutt would be ideal. Eh, fortunate. He wanted the power. So we got the headbutt anyways. But now we don't have the panacea. So what we could do is bring back panache or emulate and start pushing for damage. I guess we just emulate damage, huh? Save panache for exhumed panic. We've got another panache. Wow. I could save this panache for exhumed panic, but I also have another one for exhumed panic, but so I could just play this one. I think I'm just gonna keep emulating. That's like my best damage card, yeah? Yo, Kiara, uh, thanks for the follow. So we got Panic Button, but we are struggling with the awkward two card phenomenon limit threshold. So we just bash, emulate, and then push into the next phase. And then try to win then. This is why you should leave yourself... This is a misplay. I should have left myself a 3. Because if I leave myself a 3, I get rid of Frail, Vulnerable, and I get the Panic Button. So leaving yourself a 3 is ideal, but it's okay. I think we should just push into the next phase and start going for the damages. We lose a little bit of block there. So, I'm conflicted. I mean, I guess I get a good block here. We can get rid of burns, but we do have evolved, so they're not the worst. What would I like to make my deck? I can make my deck as small as I want it to be. I can just get bash, emulate, ghostly armor like every turn, technically, because I have a big surplus of block. This damage is not relevant because he's not going to be. Sp so, I just want to get block. So the by block, I guess getting rid of burns makes some more sense. I mean, we did have a lot of Dragonite damage. But Fnash again. So what if we just exhume Panic Button now? Because we already played an attack this turn, right? So if I exhume Panic Button now... Oh, I guess I have artifacts. It doesn't really matter. Couldn't do anything about that. Panic button again. Huge. Absolutely massive. Alright, should be GG. So Slime's activate Evolve as well. He, I mean, he makes a good point. I think we should go for Lethal now, right? I got a Panic Button again from Colorism. So Colorism is the gift that keeps on giving. Getting more Panic Buttons. So we did this off the back of lots of block, Juggernaut, and Elite.
We have Panache here. You ready for it? Look at this Panache lethal. Ready? Sadistic nature does damage. Right? Panache smack. Alright. 50 damage, 50 HP in a dream. Got to evolve early, emulate early. So. Phenol Pain's gonna carry with Evolve, right? Oh, I think we got it. We just lucked out. You know, I didn't mention that Awakened One was just avoided, so. Yeah, Awakened One was just avoided. Phenol Pain out early. Spam, spam. Bam. Bam. I guess I can bring. Technically, can bring Emulate back, right? It's really good damage for this fight. Or I could just True Grit. And full block. Yeah, since 20 doubles with uh, bosses. Trigger full block, get rid of strike, headbutt, emulate back. Let's do this, full block. Even though I feel like going for damage is probably better. Got the barricade. Wow, we're all but ready to go. I think I'm just gonna exhume offering now. Did we play power? We did. So I can panic button and then strike or bash. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm in love. Oh yes. One, two, three. Oh my lord, have mercy, Panic Button, you're insane. Juggernaut, please. Juggernaut, please. No. Okay. Made him vulnerable. Uh, fuck. It's fine. We it's fine. Save our block because we, we gotta preserve our block. Man, that juggernaut is a sniper, by the way. Put three random attacks when you drop out into your hands. I currently have nothing, so let's do. I, I can make the deck super small. Like, check this out. Check this out. This is actually kind of nuts. Uh, honestly, I, the fight's won. Like, I don't really got to think here. The fight's already won. Mr. Mendelev, how you doing, buddy? True Grit. Panache. Nice prod. Oopsies. What's up, Boomer? How you doing? Okay, Boomer. Oopsies. It's 36 damage. I'm trying to run out of block, though. That's the problem. I guess block comes for free. Okay. The bomb. Oh, what a way to end the fight. Bomb them to death. How about I start managing Deca here?
Panache, baby. Panache, baby. <clears throat> Magnetism is, is, is very good, right? You see the potential in it? It's acting over from Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Sure, that's what they all say, Boomer. And nothing set up for the next Act 4, so. Alright, this is a deck that's going... Sus suspicious lack of scaling. But I suppose if you look at it in the sense that... Panic Button... Is a lot of value. So maybe we can just forego scaling and have Panic Button be good value and maybe magnetism keeps giving panic button i don't know i'm worried about the heart here dark shackle seems pretty good for the heart i guess save my block there's also artifacts well artifacts use this because we have pellets so maybe dark shackles is the best for both the act for elite and in the uh heart hey Tix, how you doing buddy Yeah, I wish I had more gold, huh? This would have been a panic button spoon run. I just imagine. Strange spoon panic button shenanigans. Or smooth stone, but spoon is cooler. Now, I don't need carnage at all. Carnage just does damage. Yeah, carnage is not the play. Dark Shackles is the utility card if you want. The other thing is Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade all cards, which is not as good either. Let us go. That's a Whirlwind Akabeko first turn with Offering. Do I bite? I think I do. I gotta pee a lot because I've been drinking so much water with coffee. Alright, so this is a big turn. Huge turn. You guys ready? This is... Oh my god, wait, look at this turn. Guys, look at this turn. Berserk, Whirlwind, Panic Button for the block. It plays itself. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Why is that still like that? I didn't play a skill. I played Offering. What? I'm upset. Holy ma- it doesn't even matter. We're just amazing at the game. We're so lucky. What the actual fuck? Should I just- Should I just fire pot this guy? So I don't have to deal with this damn defensive shit? 99 block? Monster? Okay, don't mess up this time, please. Oh, 
Oh no, they didn't. They didn't give me bottle tornado. No, I don't have barricade first turn. No, it didn't happen. Fuck, okay. Mm -mm, wow. That's actually optimal as heck. Second wind versus pummel versus thunderclap. Um, pummel, I don't really care about. Second wind, nope, actually no. But this. Now, I guess we could entertain the question. If we're not doing barricade bottle, which we should, there's berserk, funeral pain, juggernaut, magnetism. No. Okay. Let us begin. want to save a power for next turn because next turn we want to clear the debuffs remember that right so we need to have a power for next turn there was a lot of powers in the deck i'm feeling hopeful bring it on power get rid of the vulnerable you need an attack and a skill attack and a skill where's the attack where's this where's the attack Where's the attack? Son of a gun. If I got an attack, I'd save so much life. See, I'm losing my block, and this block's very important for this fight, because I don't have scaling. So I need as much block as I can. So not getting rid of these artifacts when I have pellets is really bad. So we could try to high roll right now into Juggernaut or Berserk or Evolve. We have three powers right now. Three powers out of 13. Three out of 13. We try the high roll. I want to save Dark Shark Shackles for a harder part. I want to save Dark Shackles for a harder part. We got the power. Secretly didn't matter. Am I being trolled? Wait, here's, what's he doing 2 times 15 before, or did I look at it wrong? He was doing 3 times 15? Oh, so we're just... Yeah, it's perfect, okay. Discovery, wait, if I could upgrade that, that's the gift that keeps on giving. Alright, so we gotta play all these things. Okay, this is huge. Okay, we have a free Oh my god, this is actually so good. Alright guys, ready? Berserk Juggernauts. World, panic Button Whirlwind for free. No, Discovery, then Whirlwind for free. So Discovery, then Panic Button. Then Whirlwind for free. Discovery just has to be played. Or we could True Grit something instead. I could True Grit... We have Evolve, so none of that stuff matters. Discovery, we want to get Demon Form. Demon Form. Demon Form. Entrench. Demon Form. Entrench! Magnetism, MVP. How do you make titles for these runs? I don't get it. So many crazy things happen. How do I put that into a title? Just watch this shit. That's where it should be. I want to get rid of his artifacts. Because <clears throat> I want to 
have the ability to weak I want to weaken him and I also want to apply vulnerable for more damage. I also want to so maybe dark shackles in the future. So problem here is what if I just exhume what if I just exhume panic button and just play it for its block without the ability to remove the like without the ability to remove the negative aspect of it because we have entrenched in the deck. I guess we could do offering instead. So we want to get rid of the artifacts, and then we can exhume offering and have a, a more extended turn, or we could just play panic button and not have the ability to remove the, the thing. Like offering can get hit in trench. If offering hits in trench, that'll be kind of big. So what if we just do exhume first then to look for offering and trench things? But you know, Exhume is another panic button, which is another 42 block, which is kind of insane, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So if I play this... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I'm drawing 4 cards, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this draws exactly 4 cards. Oh my god! We are just the most lucker luckerson. So I kind of wanted to get rid of the artifacts, but then I have Ghostly Entrenched, and it just seems that much better. And remember, Dragonite's doing his thing. So, like, artifact be damned. We have. We don't. Because right now, Dark Shackles is better on this turn. We don't care about it. So we can come back for the artifact any other time. This is Maximize, baby. The name of the game is Maximize Optimize. So we have block. We have liftoff. I want to show you guys something very interesting. Behold. I think you'd like this. You might approve. I want to get the weak in here, so you think we can high roll into a uh, bash? I guess we just do this. Let's get rid of the artifacts. We need to play bash. We want to do entrench. We have dark shackles. Let's just save our block, right? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we have a lot of block right now, all right? Let me just paint this picture. Is Dark Shackles even worth it here when my block is so high? It's only 90 damage. This saves 90 block, I guess. But later on, if I don't kill it fast enough, he's gonna be doing hundreds of damage. It saves block right now, but he's going to be doing 100 potential later on. We have a lot of block. Yes, that's that's almost all we have. I mean, you're asking, but I, I, I guess you're trolling me, right? We do. It's very... The amount of block we have, have is very apparent. Yeah, we'll save brush cycles, because, yes, that's just a dent in your flesh wounds. And we need that as a resource for the next crazy big attack. So this is the easiest exhaust of my life. Just so you guys know, easiest exhaust of my life. So now we're back on the emulate damage train and Juggernaut filling out the damage. So, yes, I think we are doing just fine now. Keep playing the bash, keep playing entrench. Secret Technique is pretty good because Secret Technique gives us Dark Shackles Potentially, when we need it. 
the entrench is a godsend. So this is when things get interesting. He's doing 8 times 15. So for those guys who don't know, that's 120 damage. So I could Dark Cycles now, because I feel confident that my damage is approaching a good place. And it's as if he did nothing at all. So we can start pushing for damage. And Juggernaut is filling out quite nicely here, so... We should reapply Vulnerable then. Nobody's thing, unfortunately. So Dixie Nature, that's damage. We have Emily as our damage. Do not worry. That's a really good hit. Where's True Grit when I need it? We're getting rid of Ghostly Armor. We're almost there. The, the most BM thing I'm gonna do right now is um. Oh wait, I gotta actually hurry up. I should just do damage, right? And not trick it. Let's not fuck around. I was gonna trick the curse, but. Like, let's not fuck around. He's trying to get serious. So, immolate, immolate twice. But there's no way he does 900 damage, right? Beta, beta branch. I should weaken him just in case. And surely there's no way we lose. Do we have lethal? I mean, infinite? We could potentially set it up, but that's silly. So... Okay. It's fine. Be worse. You know what's gonna be funny? We're gonna get this body slam. Discovery is gonna be the biggest MVP. We're gonna get body slam right now. Uh, that'd be cheeky. It would be fun that if Discovery just gave you everything we needed. I should probably entrench just to get my block back, right? Wait, we're going for lethal. I'd be surprised if we don't get lethal here. Like, extremely baffled. There's almost like no way we don't get lethal, right? Isn't this just alone already? Okay, so if I didn't end the fight in this time, this is what we deal with, right? Just so you guys see that, 700 damage, but easy as heck. Give me the gold, baby. What a finish. Magnetism gave us Discovery, which gave us Entrench to carry the game. I'm telling you, these RNG things are amazing. Good run. High roll. Yeah, I technically could have survived that. That would have been the ultimate BM. I see you're hitting me for a thousand something damage. And let me just take that one to the face real quick.